Hello everybody, Funshine X here. This is episode 18 of Feed the Beast. We are we last episode we completed um three lights, the nuclear uh um, whatever it's called, <laughs> well, uh, the retriever and the uh refinery. This episode we are I'm not going to go for the lights because they require so much EMC for a dark matter first and an MK3. So we need to start getting more energy, and I thought we need to uh, finish this peat farm that we started earlier and kind of just left alone. So uh, for that, we've uh, got the piece that deploys the the, uh, the bog earth, but we now need the turbary to harvest the peat. So let's go over to our crafting tables, and I've already got the in, uh, the materials I need for that. So we'll make a sturdy machine, some glass, and some clay. And let's head over to the turbary, or head over to the, the farm to place the turbary. Pumpkin farm is going along well, it just needs to be harvested, and you see I've already got that peat engine here, so we need to get some of this peat to throw in there. Let's do that, and I'm going to place this. Of course it's not going to let me. Let me go grab a, like, cobblestone or something. So I want to do something on this, uh, farm that's a little unique, I think. Okay, back to the farm. Okay, so that will harvest our peat. Uh, to get that going, we're going to need some uh, more charcoal to throw in that steam engine to get going until we get enough peat to replace with a peat engine. And we're going to need a wrench to wrench it over there. So let's uh, get that going. A little bit of running back and forth, but apologize for that. Okay, build craft wrench, where are you? Have I not built one yet? I thought I built one. Okay. I believe that's a stone gear with some iron. Check one more time to make sure we don't have one of those. Got that one and that one. That's it. Okay, well, let's build one then. We've already got our let's see, four cobble, four plank, four sticks, I mean. and uh, three iron. Like so. Get us our wrench. And let's grab like four, five charcoal for now. I'm gonna get a stick so I can get a uh, lever here. Because I don't believe we put the, put one there yet. Okay, give me some peat. And it's probably just gonna throw it in the air, won't it? So let's go get a chest. I don't really need to pipe it anywhere. Something's burning. I don't know. I heard that a burning sound. Did you guys hear that? Mm, maybe I'm just hearing things. Where's our peat going? Oh, probably uh, it's just holding it there for now. There it is. 
Oh, 24 already. Nice. So I'm going to grab a bunch of this. And harvest these pumpkins. Which will require another lever. real quick. Uh, yeah, it's building up definitely faster with those level Mark II collectors. But uh, it's going to take a long time until we get to that Mark III in the Dark Matter Furnace. Alright, burning some peat. Should see some uh, pumpkins come out of here. There they come. Looks like we've gotten rid of our own melons, which is good. Oh, I, I was watching, and you can uh, just use your Flosser Stone to transmute melons into pumpkins. So I guess we could have done that and kept uh, kind of the diversity in our farm, but that's alright. Okay, cool. And remember, we don't need to power this guy ever again, because uh, pumpkins no longer require tilled dirt to grow on. So that farm should be automatic. This one is almost done, harvesting all our peat. Got almost a stack here. So I'm going to take this guy, and you'll notice that ran for about maybe two minutes, and then it's done. And now we basically should hit it with a wrench and let this guy run for you know, about two minutes. And I got to thinking, why should I always come over here every two minutes and switch which engine, or which uh, piece this engine's fa uh, powering? Why not just have a toggle switch and a timer? And every two minutes, a toggle switch would fire and signal a deployer to right-click on this guy with a wrench. What do you think? I think it'd be a great idea, so let's try it. So we're going to come back to our things, and we're going to basically build a timer, a toggle switch, a deployer, and another peat engine. This guy is still going. Still pumpkins to harvest. Peat burns so long, I really think it's okay to just keep that burning. And whenever a pumpkin goes up, it'll get it. We could also put that one on a timer and say just run for a minute and then turn off for a minute. I don't know. It's probably not a big deal. Okay. So the first thing we want is a timer. We've got plenty of roadstone. Uh, do we have any more of those wafers? A few. We need uh, some regular stone I got. We need some sticks. Alright, that should be good. So now we need uh, two of you guys. For a timer. Probably gonna need more of these wafers, so let's burn some more stone up. charcoal. our timer.
toggle latch. Do I need this? Could I just do my timer every minute? Click on the deployer. I believe so. Yeah, it'll it'll do a pulse whenever it gets to the the time. So yeah, let's just do that. So we just need a deployer. Okay, right there. Some cobble, piston, chest, and redstone. Um, let's see. How can I get to a chest? Maybe a piece of iron? There's the chest. It's so hard to get the things you want now when you've got so many things on your table. I guess a piston would be more than iron. What about gold? Don't have any. Stone, chest, and more cobble. Okay, and then we've got a wrench, and we need a lastly a P fight engine. Should be that guy. Copper, copper gears, and another piston. Oh, that's a deployer. Hmm. Oh, cool piston right here. A bunch of copper. Again. But not for long. Okay. Wooden gears turn to stone gears. Turn to copper gears. And lastly, you need a piece of glass so we can make this engine. Pumpkin farm's keeping up rather well. Oh, that's why this never completed. We never put more peat in there. It's still going. Oh well. Waste a little bit of charcoal. Turn you off. Let more pumpkins produce. Turn you off. And, uh, where's my stone? Side. Timer. Let's see if it works. 
Oh, come on. a lot of my plans. That is the right machine, right? I was under the impression that it would right-click with whatever item was in its inventory, but apparently that's not true the case. No way to automatically flip an engine. Should just work. Okay, well, I give up. We do need to go get our rent, uh, our pick to get rid of those, p replace it with our peat fired. It's not like we're going to be short repeat, though, honestly. <laughs> I guess what I could do is have two engines and just have the toggle switch after all. Toggle which one's on. Oh well. Oh, we don't need to turn this guy on. We have no P yet. Okay, so that's our next step, is to automate that uh, bog earth. And to create bog earth, it's a water bucket, dirt and sand, or a watering can, a water capsule, or a water cell. Cell and a water bucket. And let's see, to get a... Empty cell is what? Empty can is 310 for 12. Empty cell is 4 for 16, so it's the same either way. So, no big deal. Let's uh, take Dirt's hand. Where's our tin? Get a ton of those empty cells, get a few buckets. Yeah, 
Let's grab a diamond. Three buckets. We will use that deployer after all. And the timer. And we'll put that there. That there. Actually, can you just... You can. Cool. No buckets needed. Come on, deployer. Maybe I'm not getting the way the deployer works. Transposer sucks in deployer. It supposedly clicks. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and figure out this deployer. Okay, the trick was the deployer just not does not work on a facing down position. So in this place I put the water empty cells and the water cells here and it will suck them on bolts. So that's cool. Okay, so let's get rid of you. Place my timer there. And that's not going to work, of course. Um, bringing this guy down. Is that going to work? Am I failing with redstone here today, too? How much wire do I have? If any? Oh, a bunch. Okay. <laughs> this doesn't work. I'm just going to give up. There we go. Sweet. That should give me a ton of caps of cells. And now I need to should we go logistics on this? Hmm. Or should we just go regular old automatic crafting table? I think we'll just do a crafting table here. So let's see. Do we have any sticks left? 
for you. Sixteen of you. Okay, crafting table. Or project table. I like project table. I don't remember how to build it. Ah, oh, that's a lot of work. Thank you. Spell, bog, dirt on the corners. It'll be you know non-automated, but now all I have to do if I ever need to come over here is just say, "Yep, give me some bug earth, please." Okay, and we're gonna have to go get a bunch more sand and dirt. that'll do us. Looks like our pumpkins are ready to be harvested again. So turn that guy on. Here's the bog earth you need. That way. Oops. Cool. goes. It should plant the rest for us. Oh, we gotta be quick with her. Why is that not leaking through? That's weird. Come on, fill up quickly so I can put the stone in place. No, I did not say rain. So that should run for about a minute and it'll replace all this with bog earth and then I'll start turning to peat. Pumpkins are done, that was quick. And now all we really need to do is just expand our, you know, what's coming in, our EMC, passive EMC, you know, take it to the extreme. I could build my pumpkin farm up. Uh, multiple layers and that thing will, or up a layer, down a layer, it should harvest it. Um, peat should give us a plenty of extra peat. I'm not sure if it has EMC or not. Uh, we can test it. Do I keep any? Yeah, let's go test it. should put it right in here. No EMC from peat, so all the peat gives us really is unlimited engine EU, which is great. I don't have to burn any more charcoal. Um, yeah, that's one thing I want to test is this little guy here. Uh, what can I burn? Yeah, 
peat works in an iron furnace. So now I have to do normal charcoal, charcoal in here. We just put a bunch of peat. Okay, this guy's probably all converted. So I'll just steal that for now so it's not clicking on that incessantly. Oh, here on my tool chest. My chest goes here. Okay, so I thought I'd do two more things this episode. I'm going to switch the uh, my two collectors to start collecting uh, dark matter instead of diamonds and eternalis. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about converting it. It'll just go directly there. Uh, but I'll need enough to get a diamond block. So a little bit more in there. And then also I'm going to build a second level onto my pumpkin farm with my mercurial eye. So I'm going to pause the video for that and I'll be right back when this is built. Okay, so I'm back. I uh, took the, or added a second layer to my pumpkin farm and took the rest of the bone meal that I had and uh, built up the pumpkin seeds. And so now we've got two levels and it's raining again. I don't know what biome does more rain, but we are definitely in it if there is one. And, uh, okay, so pumpkins are starting to grow up here. We can turn this guy back on. And we're all out of peat here, so let's see how our peat is doing. This is about ready to be switched. And awesome, we're building up a ton of peat. He's still got plenty there. Give me some ash that I can use later, maybe. I don't think I'll ever run out of peat now. Really all we need is bog earth, which I have a billion of. How much, how's that doing, actually? It's gone through two and a half stacks already. That's fine. Cool. So yeah, the pumpkin farm should be able to grab from either layer. We could actually build another layer under it. This guy could reach it if we wanted to, but I think that's good for now. And I think that's going to do with the episode. Uh, all I'm going to do off the camera is craft a dark matter and stick it in the target window here. And that will be uh, it. And we'll start up episode 19 uh, and try and get one of our final two blocks there. I'll see you then. Bye.